Have you ever met someone who you think is a person you wanted to meet all your life? So how long have you guys been together? Almost three years. A lot of times I don't think you understand me. What do you mean? I was kind of uh, obsessed with serial killers as a kid. So was I. I grew up watching horror movies. I love horror movies. You and your horror movies. I love Joel, but he just doesn't understand what I'm passionate about and what I believe in. Yeah, I see what you mean. Because I've never really met anyone with a deep connection. You want to break up? Is that what you want to talk about? It's a brave and honorable thing, what you're doing. I mean, at least you have the guts to be honest with them. Out on a limb. Do you want me? When I was your age, I would have already tossed him in the back room and fucked his brains out. That was the 70s, Pop. I don't know how you gay men do it. You always seem to have so much sex. That is a myth. What are you doing? I was just masturbating. I think we're probably going to be going after this drink. You're Dane K. Put down the book and come back to bed. Can I write a short story about you? To be in a relationship where you're dominated by sex and so there's no other choice but to kill the other person? I mean, it's completely erotic. Because I'm with someone. Oh, I think he likes Joel. He always did have a way of making me feel so inadequate. I, I don't want to be a virgin anymore. Ooh. I thought our relationship was getting better and better and I could actually even envision us being together forever. In a love triangle, no matter how it turns out, somebody's going to be unhappy. I understand passion is transient, but it keeps me alive. <laughs>